Several years ago, Paulette had a stroke. Et depuis, ses plaintes concernent Since then, she has been complaining mostly about the impossibility of recognizing faces and places. This is a very serious problem. And in her everyday life, Paulette constantly has the feeling she is living in a foreign place among strangers. Sometimes people say hi to me, so I say hi to them. Other times I say hi to people I believe I know, and, and they say, who is she? What does she want? So I've been traumatized, and now I don't say hi to anybody, except when people call hi, poet, or when I recognize friends from their voices. On regarde une autre série de photographies. What? I'm looking for his name. How old is he? Mm, over 70. Over 70, right. Um, he has a little moustache. Yes. And inquisitive eyes with a mocking look. Yes, perfect description. He was president of the Republic as well. General de Gaulle. Oh, Charles, I didn't recognize you. Paulette can obviously see faces. She can describe them perfectly, but she can't translate those details into a flash of recognition. She suffers from prosopagnosia. The part of her brain that specializes in recognizing faces has been destroyed. His face is familiar, but I, I can't put a name to it. Well, who is he? Can you at least tell me what he does? I think he's a singer. Now Michel Poncet shows her a picture of himself. Well, go ahead. Describe his face. A little pimple on the side over there. Mm, in fact, three of them. Now I won't look any closer because he's got too many. He should go and see a skin doctor. To have his skin cleaned, because it's in bad shape. His eyes smile as well as his mouth. Yes. And his hair? What about his hair? It's quite thin. Don't you think that's me? Don't you? No. How many compartments we have in our brains. She can tell everything about him, except who he is. That's me. That's you? It's not a recent picture, then. I am mad at myself. I'm really mad. I don't recognize myself anymore. It gets on my nerves. That's the truth. It happens all the time that I, I hit my head whenever I make mistakes. I hit